Do you ever have that problem while you're writing where you edit yourself so much while you're doing it that you feel that you'll never get anything written? You know, you're sitting at your computer, starting a new chapter, and you start writing the first sentence and then scratch it out. And then you try again and notice a spelling mistake, which you correct and then start wondering if it's the right word in this context. So you try and think of another and then get frustrated because you can't think of one off the top of your head. Pretty soon half an hour has gone by and you're still stuck on the same paragraph. You've written a little bit and then deleted it and then written a bit more and then deleted that. It's like you're going three steps forward and two steps back with every sentence. After a short while you may have even forgotten the original idea that you set out to write about and quickly you're going to lose motivation. This happens to me all the time, so here's a few things that really help for me. Sometimes I might set the timer and say, I'm just going to write whatever comes into my head for 20 minutes without stopping or correcting any mistakes which I'll fix later. If you try this but still find yourself correcting things and getting frustrated with how it's coming out, try this tip I got from one of the graduate education officers at UWA. They call it blind writing. On some Mac computers, you can turn the contrast down on the screen until it goes completely blank, and at the same time you can still type. This means you can write without distraction. If you have a PC desktop, you might be able to switch the screen off while you work. If you don't have a computer where you can turn off the screen, just try focusing on your hands as they type, and forget about looking at what you're writing. Then all you have to do is set your timer and write for 10 or 20 minutes without stopping. Once you're done, you can fix up any mistakes and polish up your language. But the important thing is to get the ideas out first without censoring them. At first this might seem a little bit strange, but after a while you'll get used to it. And don't be shocked when you look at what you've written and it's full of spelling and grammar mistakes. That's only natural. What you're looking for at the moment is quantity, not quality. You can worry about quality later when you go and fix up your writing and, and make it more polished. And if you're like me, you might be surprised that some of your writing is quite good and worth expanding upon and polishing up for later use. You can get more study tips and advice on the Study Smarter website. There you can also find the Coursework Research Forum, which has resources specifically for UWA Honours and Masters students. Brought to you by UWA Student Services.